And three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This is a movie review. We checked out uh, It Chapter 2. Yeah. It's been like uh, how many years since the first one? I think it was 2017. 20. All right, so like two, Eight. almost almost three years, I guess. September, October, November. Like, yeah, all right. It's like yeah, two, two and a half years. years yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, just like all movie reviews, we're going to score it review it score it again to see if we swayed each other's opinion um that's what we do on these things so vish you go first what do you think what did i think yeah score uh i was debating on the score actually wait hold on quick pause before we continue with anything um that was a sick could be versus dustin Poirier fight uh totally we were thinking that dustin didn't have a chance but there were two like super close calls yeah, and uh, now he's gonna go fight Tony Ferguson, but we were checking out. We're like, eh, I don't know if Tony has the skill set to beat Khabib, <laughs> but we'll see. You never know, because like with Dustin, I was just like, you could always land that good punch. Yeah, you know what I mean. And he did. That was one of the close calls. But anyways, yeah. All right. Super. Anyways, Excited back to it. Um. All right. Score. Score. I'm thinking seven. Ooh! Wow. Okay. Or 7.5. We'll see. Okay, so like a solid IMDb score. Mm-hmm. I'll give it a... I'll give it an 8. Okay. Yeah. So we're, so we're pretty close on this one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what did you what did you think about the movie? Uh, overall, I mean, it was just a, it was a good movie. I didn't feel it was uh, great or better than the first part, the first one I felt like. You were saying that they're like two halves? So like it is... Uh, I believe what I've read was they are of the same book. I never read the books or the book, I mean. Uh, but this the kid version was the first part of the book, and the second part of the book was when they're adults. Oh, okay. So it's like, um, so like you're kind of supposed to watch the whole thing in like succession. Uh, yeah. Like the book would be in succession like that. So this was if you wanna the full experience. Watch full experience. One. They might. I think the, they should release one that's mixed together. Right. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Because they were the parts where they were separate in this movie, uh, when they when they were kids, yeah, was not in the first one. Right. So okay, if you true. included that into the, like you know what I mean, like mix it together. Oh, make like a like a remastered version. Yeah, yeah which yeah, is yeah, like yeah, yeah. you merge the right. scenes together. That'd right. be kind of cool, actually. I'd I'd be interested in that. Right, but that'll be a long movie because this is already three hours. True. Well, it'd be it's like a Lord of the Rings. The, yeah, that's true. The thing that I felt about the movie was like it was very like video gamey. Like, it felt like a giant <laughs> RPG I was playing. Right. You know what I mean? There's oh, like, yes, yes. Right? Yes, there's, yes, like, yes. downtime, and then there's exciting times. But, like, because the way, like, RPGs work is, like, they make you feel like you're living in the world, and then they do all the craziness. Yeah. And I felt that with this movie. And same with the first one. Mm. It's, like, you're, you're like, watching it, but mm-hmm. there's no, like... Because usually with movies, it's, like, go, 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 right? Yeah. But there was a lot of scenes where it's, like, you're just learning about the character. Right. Right, and I thought that was I thought that was really cool. Mm. It made it feel like long, but it made it feel rewarding. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of like not. I wouldn't say Lord of the Rings because I still haven't finished the third Lord of the Rings. Like, it's just so boring to me. But like, <laughs> like this one was like very. You got to know their backstories, and I liked when they're adults. Who they were as kids highly influenced who they became as adults. Right, like you saw the yeah. same like themes playing out in their adult relationships as their childhood relationships mm. right like with the the girl she like married somebody that was like kind of like her father yeah yeah same yeah. with the other guy yeah. uh, married right. somebody that's kind of like his mother um, <laughs> that was interesting if the one guy was gay right yeah you know, it was like oh but he's like hiding it mm. that, that was an interesting twist Didn't expect so that. there there was some controversy as the the way that the movie started uh, oh yeah! Do you remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! That was yeah, uh, that was so negative. So, I was like, wow. Uh, yeah, but um, like that was what people were like saying. Oh, it's homophobic. Uh, you could find this offensive, and then some people didn't, or would probably not go to see the movie just because of that. Just because the opening scene. Yeah, like that was the the I, what I was hearing on the twitters. Oh, okay. Like, oh, it starts off like this, and then it's like. Like I, they didn't exactly explain what happened, but like, the, right. like in the first couple of minutes, someone uses the word, the, the, and then that could 
you know, uh, trigger people or yeah, yeah I get what you're like saying. That. Yeah, totally. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I felt really bad for those those two gay guys in the beginning. I was like, oh man, this is like so negative right now. <laughs> They're like beating them up. I'm like, come on. Yeah. Yeah, but there was like really, like there was no. Um... But then when it came back that the kid was gay, it was like, oh, that's interesting. You're playing on the same theme as the opening of the movie. Right, right, but uh, but there wasn't really any like resolution to the situation that happened to that in the beginning. But oh, right, right. So it's just like oh, right. They didn't even get like caught or anything like that. Right. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, uh, but that was like the controversy part of the uh, the beginning of the movie, and then, uh, uh, and then I mean, throughout the movie, it, it felt long though. Did you feel it? Was oh long? yeah, I went to the bathroom twice. It was like <laughs> oh right, damn. Uh, movie. But I did uh I think only in one part I did feel a little sleepy. I don't remember where, but it was near the end of it though. Oh, okay, so it was already like winding down the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um but uh I mean uh, what I will say is the the choice of these actors was spot on. Yeah, it was excellent. <laughs> that, just the so the good. kids fit exactly who their adult versions were, like the totally, way their yeah. mannerisms. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Like they, <laughs> it was so fascinating. Well, that that one guy, um, I forgot his name, but he played in Split. Mm-hmm. He's got that stutter thing down like so good. Right. right. When he when he's like, oh yeah, 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 Split yeah. was like, oh yeah, you play this character well, but mm. so like. I thought I thought that opening Chinese food scene was really cool. And I thought it was also cool that like it was all in their heads when like all the craziness was going down. Right. You know what I mean? That was that was pretty fascinating. Hmm. Um Yeah, I I liked that the movie played on um the whole idea of fear and like overcoming your fear and overcoming right. like your remember he's like you have to find like totems or touch touchstones from your past or something yeah yeah yeah. and it was like those are all the things related to like your anxieties Mm -hmm. and then you have to like burn them let them go like the spiritual connotation in this movie which is like a horror movie you wouldn't expect right but it's all about like overcoming your past self Mm -hmm. and like pushing past the fear that you feel to rise into a new person you know Mm -hmm. and that's why i like the movie right yeah, yeah. No, no, I mean, like the message-wise, it was it's it's good in the in the moral sense. Yeah, totally. Uh, but in the story sense, I did not feel it was that compelling. Okay, true. That, that's but what I'm like, looking at. But again, it was like an RPG. It was like you kind of just go along for the ride. Right, right, these right. right. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, it, that's what I'm saying. In general, it was it was a good movie. Uh, it's just I don't know. I didn't I didn't feel as uh, like compelled by the story. Right, right. I think there was. Like there was like okay like where did this thing come from or whatever that thing is like from space or yeah, whatever that was, but then that's pretty weird and then like adding in a rule like oh it has to abide by the a rules shape or something or, or, of what it takes yeah. or something like why that was uh, so lame. it's an alien thing <laughs> so there's things like that 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 didn't make sense to me what I found was like their acting was so good yeah in in their like childishness where it's like they were chanting like. They were chanting something, remember, is like, I forgot, I forgot what the spell was, but they were chanting it, and as they were chanting it, like, I was watching them, like, oh, you believe this is going to work. I'm like, wow, you guys are really good actors. You're making mm-hmm. me believe that this is going to work, <laughs> you know, because cause they're probably but in I front of a green screen, though. Cr- no, it, was, it, was, it was, like, it was pretty, like, oh, yeah, kiddie yeah. and lame, but it's, like, your acting, your commitment right, to acting right, was right, right. impressive. Yeah. Because it's, like, you're definitely in front of a green screen, and you're just right. shouting this thing, but I'm, like, believing it. So I'm, like, oh, you're, good, you're a good actor, mm. you know. Okay. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was cool. Yeah. Um, what did you not like about the movie? Uh, I thought I hit it a little bit. Like, just the story-wise, um, just, I don't know. The, the, the way that the first one I can remember was just just done really well more like a horror like this was this i felt like it was there's a lot of comedy bits where it was oh, yeah, yeah, it yeah, was true. not really scary true 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 in that it's sense. like a horror comedy yeah there's yeah a lot which of was uh, relief in it. which was interesting to say this. When, when the dude killed himself i was like man oh yeah crazy, <laughs> so bro. did it hit up like that was some dark moments yeah and stuff. but then that was fascinating that like he wrote in advance he's like i'm just taking myself off the board like because you all need to work together and yeah and, yeah so like as i guess he knew himself <laughs> and then they kept like showing back like 
him as a kid and i was yeah. just like wow this is like heavily invested in these characters right now mm. makes me want to watch the first and the second like back to back that's what i'm saying yeah they you should know? bring out one like an extended edition or whatever it's called and then like mash them together it's it's also so fascinating with like the like showing their past mm-hmm. and like well showing their their current and then going to the past to show um where they'd all come from so like with that guy who became an architect Mm -hmm. and then it's like he's the one who built the the fortress it's like yeah of course that would happen that way yeah yeah. you know i thought that was really Mm -hmm. cool didn't it say like it was 2016 when the i saw the date somewhere and i was 2017 and i was like oh that's weird like it's 2019 now right so like wouldn't they want to put it 2019? But I guess like they're trying to like mathematically calculate to yeah, yeah, yeah. 27 I so. I years. So. Yeah. But then I was like, now we're just watching the past. It made me, that was kind of weird for me. Like when movies do that, it's uh-huh. like, it's not in the present time. It's like weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because oh. cause, like I'm thinking about today, but I'm like, okay, this is a past movie then, <laughs> you know? Oh, it was just a small thing. Yeah, no, there was, there was, uh, it just reminds me of like a show that did, that was, uh, filmed a few like like they've done two seasons already the first season was in the year uh i i, I think it was in the year 2019 oh. so they were filming the future which is now oh, in the show yeah. so that when it comes out it's kind of like it fits the yeah yeah you're saying because it was a, it was a time show thing too right going back in time and forward Fascinating. In time. so yeah, it yeah. was like they were adding in involved in all this so because they knew it when this be gonna, released yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. fascinating yeah uh, but I don't know. I mean, it, I think, yeah, they extended like, t- like the mashup, especially with the, like now, cause they had to do those shots with the kids again, but like now they're a couple of years older. Right. So you, there are, there are changes to them. Right. 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 <laughs> the, the CGI I was saying like, yeah. It, in the cat, in the underground cabin thing here. Yeah. I, I yeah. can kind of tell. I was like, mm-hmm. Oh, it looks like they're like, their faces are like CGI. Yeah. Make they it had, look like they were still young. Yeah. But that's impressive with like technology, anti-aging technology. You see mm-hmm. that trailer with like Will Smith, yeah, um, where he's like fighting his younger self, and mm-hmm. it's like, "Well, you look really young." Oh yeah, 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 right. But that's not actually what Will Smith looked like when he was young, so that's also kind of weird. I think they're trying to take from his past images, whatever they have. I don't know. Yeah, but it didn't look like the same kind of Will Smith. Mm. Maybe, the, like, I think the tech, it's not like uh, whenever they release trailers, it doesn't mean the tech is fully done yet. Uh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, they're still going to work on it. Yeah. yeah, totally. Especially today with the deep fakes and stuff, I think. Oh, yeah. I think you can get there. Yeah, when they showed uh, the thing you showed me, the actor in this movie. Yeah. His face kept changing into yeah, yeah, yeah. Cruise. Actually, this was, the, this was the guy, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, it was funny, like, some of these, act, like, the especially that, oh, what's his name, though? The, the comedian one. I don't know. Um, that he was doing stand-up comedy as the older self of him, but it's like that's who he, that's who he is in real person. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, his, yeah, I can't yeah. remember his name. I don't know his name either, but yeah, yeah, that's true. He played a comedian. <laughs> oh, it, it makes uh, sense though, because him as a kid uh, was very. Uh, the other thing that I found was funny was like they kept alluding to that guy that was a writer that doesn't have a good ending. Yeah. So it's like alluding to I don't know maybe this ending's not good too. <laughs> Oh, for it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was thinking that as well. Actually, I, I, thought, I was like, "Are you writing about your experience?" And you're just like, "Oh, this is a lame ending." I think so. Funny, because <laughs> because I did feel it was like it wasn't like great, but it was like true. It's just an like you know what I mean. Like I, I really like the banter between all of them. That was like it. It almost like it almost felt like they were real friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe, right. maybe they had yeah. to do, like, some camping overnight trips together. Mm-hmm. And, like, just the way they interacted was very, like, authentic, it felt. Very mm-hmm. genuine. Mm-hmm. Uh, were you were you happy that the girl got with, like, the... I forgot his name, but, like, the fat kid? <laughs> yeah, like, but he... Like, that was she, cool, because in the first movie, he, like, he really liked her. Yeah, but, like, she got the wrong idea from that postcard, whoever right, was right, from. Right, right, <laughs> So that was good, like, finalization. Yeah. You know, because, like... She actually got with the correct guy, right? Yeah, that that was really cool. That that was a cool scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But like, uh, the, uh, <laughs> like uh, when he brought them all together, like the idea that they were all 
potentially gonna die by like that was like it wasn't gonna work that thing okay yeah uh i don't see i, I, I didn't get that, like that part too is like why would you uh, no because memory's like oh because they didn't believe like we will believe some bs like that yeah but like how do you know that <laughs> yeah i know it's that's lame yeah that's kind of weird. like i get it but it's like i don't i don't know if that's the same thing in my mind i i think they did <laughs> who knows true yeah true 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 I, I like but they didn't explain know. what that thing was, I guess. What they did? It, yeah, like... Yeah, this, that was really weird. And then what really happened at the end? Is it going to come back again? Or? Did Did you think that it actually killed the kid in that... In that... Um, the circus thing, remember? Because I was like, is he messing with the main character? Or did he actually kill that kid? Oh, uh... Or in the fun house? Mm-hmm. The fun house? Yeah, remember he, like, followed the kid that was at the Chinese food place? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. Oh, he actually killed him? I think so. Or he's messing with his head. I don't know. Yeah, it was There's in... so many, like, murders. I thought... I thought... <laughs> I thought the main character was going to... Um, he was going to be framed. Right. Oh, he's okay, chasing okay. the kid, and then yeah, the kid yeah, yeah, die, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. they don't be like, "Oh, you killed the kid." There's a lot of like unanswered questions there about like the deaths of these people. But, like, yeah, they just leave it like like it's all good. I was like, "Oh, they died." No, but they all like the movie ended with such a good tone. Oh, happiness. Yeah, yeah but it's totally. like so many people died. Yeah, true, true, true. It's like what happens to the town after? <laughs> yeah, totally. totally. <laughs> right. Is is there going to be another it movie or is this it? <laughs> uh, I think that's it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's good. Like, I like it when they I just, like, so. start and I end mean, it. Uh, who knows? Maybe it's a good franchise. I don't know. Yeah, but it's like... I think it's... Uh, if, uh, if it if it doesn't die in this one, it's like, man, you guys are dragging this out. Right. This seems like a very good, like, open and close book. Right, right, right. You know? Watch the first one, watch the second one. We're good. I didn't... Like, do you remember how the first one ended? Like, how... how... They made the pact. That was it. I understand, but, like, how did they stop it? Oh, didn't they like stab it, and then they were like, "I'm not afraid." Oh, so they forgot that that they could like use that against it, I guess. Or or did they just do the exact same thing as the first movie? So there's gonna be a third movie because like they didn't realize. I don't know. But if there's a third movie. It's like, come on, man! Like everyone left the town. The black dude's gone now. No, no, yeah. It's like, it, what the I, hell? I, I think it'll be, an, it'll, be back, it'll like, be a new new set of people. <laughs> And they're all like, oh, we remembered. Right. You, you know, like, the way they ended it, mm-hmm. they, like, ended it. So if you make another movie, it's like, you guys are just looking for cash. Mm. It's kind of like the Star Wars franchise. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, you should have just ended it. I don't know why we're continuing. Mm. Like, I didn't even like the second last Star Wars. <laughs> well, know, there's like, one more. There's going to be more of Star Wars. Though. The first one was good, and the one after that was like meh. Yeah, it wasn't J.J. Abrams though. That's why. Oh, there you go. And then this J. final J. one. J.J. Abrams back for the last one. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, cool. And then. And then this is supposed to be it for the whole like nine trilogy thing. For now. Oh, okay. Yeah, true. For now. Because. Because we all thought that the six were the end. Well, there's other things that they can go into now that Disney has. No, no, but I mean like in the main storyline, not not like. Yeah, of course there'll be like side stories because like you have all that time to fill. Yeah. But like I mean, like what happens after like the final Skywalker? Uh, that was, like you could have said that in the first six movies. True. No, but that's why. I'm, yeah, true. I guess I. I don't know. I just feel like we're getting played now, movie wise. Like I hate it when movies like go too long. You know. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's if it fits. If it's it a fits, good story, like, what, I don't like Avengers I mean, is great because it's like that's like a comic book you can go yeah, forever. That, that, yeah, but yeah. like with other things, the thing I like about Avengers is like they kept playing upon the final movie. Yeah, like the entire. Well, now, 10 yeah, movies. yeah, that that ten, like it, now that is done, right? Now they can go and do different ones. Yeah, totally. As, as they're doing, so. Yeah, I liked that. I like that because it was like everything was well placed and like everything mm. led up to the next one. But like, I hate one's movie series that like drag on for no reason. Like what? For, like for tests? For, no, no. Um, um, Fast Furious? 
Oh yeah, yeah, that's a great example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast and Furious. Yeah, that's a great example. It's like really we're just. But I mean, you but love they're it. Not, they're you not there it for story. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah no, no. it's just there for. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. The action's always going to be there, but like the story is just like. Blah. Like, I don't care what you do this time. No, it's not about the story. I just want to see you race fast cars, Yeah, that's bro. all. That's, all. <laughs> that's actually a perfect example. And, like, uh, The Matrix, they're coming out with a fourth one now. Like, yeah. Like, Keanu come back. It's like, you should have just left that one alone. We're good. Mm. I feel that with, like, John Wick is going to be like that, too. But, again, the John Wick movies are just all about, like, action. We're not really looking for the story. Well, it's not done yet, right? Isn't there... Has to be another one? Uh, I think so. I can't remember how this. I just saw that recently, actually. What did I tell you? I saw it. Uh, John John three. Oh, you didn't see it before? No, I didn't see it. Oh, it was crazy, eh? Oh yeah! All right, in the first scene. The first scene when he broke the dude's neck. uh, I was like, my mouth. Like I know. Everyone I, in my the jaw theater, dropped. Everyone <laughs> in the theater was like, "Okay, this is where it's going." Well, well, my, my my mouth was open when he like put it in his face. Yeah, the, um, the book and but then when he broke, <laughs> he broke his, his jaw, like, and <laughs> oh my god, this is how this movie's gonna be. Right, yeah. and then the whole movie's just like a gore fest. Yeah. yeah, nothing was as shocking as that opening one because you didn't expect it to be that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. like that's at the tone for the whole movie. You're like, okay, this is the movie. Yeah, I actually like that better than the uh, gunshot scenes. Because, like, the gunshot scenes were too clean, mm-hmm. you know? But, like, this one was, like, you were, like, you got to, like, brutalize a body. Right, 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 right. When you look at it, though, it's kind of weird, like, even with the It thing, with this horror movie stuff, it's it's weird because it's, like, it's just a human problem. The raccoons are, like, what the frig's going on over here? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, like, just because we're human, it's, like, our problem. But if there was, like, a... Like, honeybees are probably having, like, their own horror movies about, like, global warming. They're like, oh, we can't. But, like, humans don't care. I'm like, okay, whatever. Right. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Like, every time I watch those horror movies, I'm like, nature doesn't care. Mm. Like, sure, like, we care. Right. Because our species. But, like, at the same time, like, nobody else cares. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, th- I still think that was so weird that it came from space like, yeah what? come on bro. i didn't really i was like okay sure <laughs> that was that was fascinating that he drugged his friend you know like mm-hmm. uh, oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's funny because he's like oh this water tastes weird right you know? yeah yeah, hmm. yeah. oh anything else about it i don't like it's hard. Like, I don't watch a lot of horror movies. Would you watch It 3 if it came out? Again, uh, it has to have... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe an appeal. I'll probably watch it, like, once uh, out in... <laughs> yeah, it's like, what? Yeah, it's streaming so. or something versus... I hate those movies that, like, you're already committed. It's like it's like Marvel movies and Fast and Furious. It's like you're committed, so you just got to keep watching them. Right. You know, you're like... Why am I gonna stop now, bro? I already saw the last like seven. Might mm-hmm. as well watch this one too. Right. I like that they're doing Hobbs and Shaw though. That's cool. It's like a cool spinoff. Well, you saw that, right? Oh, so good. Like that's it's not at all Fast and Furious. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's like it's an awesome movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So final score? Did you? Did you shift I'll it? stick to seven. Seven. Yeah, I was gonna stick to eight. Like. To, it, yeah, it's good to finish it. Like, like you should definitely watch it. Yeah, if you've already started, like you've seen number one, like you might as well watch number two. Mm. And number two is like, it's still good. You know, seven and eight, like so total combined score is like seven point five. So yeah. it's still good. It's basically the IMDb score. Um, yeah, yeah, it's 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 a journey. Mm. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I. There's a lot of emotion tied into it. There's a lot of, like, stuff about, like, you connect to the characters. Like, I really felt connected to the characters. That's one thing, actually, I really liked about it. Like, I felt connected Mm -hmm. to the characters. Like, the way, from the first one, I was like, oh, like, wow, these kids are sick. And then, like, the second one, you're like, you care about who they become as people. Right. You know? Yeah. Especially the way they chose the actors. Like, it made you care even more because those actors were, like, really good. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you... Um, yeah, you invested emotionally. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the comedy a lot. 
Yeah, they felt they felt like uh, friends. Yeah, they they actually felt like friends. (laughs) So that's again like that genuineness sold the movie for me. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, so what? What's the next movie that's coming out? Joker. In this next month, I don't know if anything else this month, but yeah, uh, yeah, Joker is next month. Cool. Yeah, that's looking like it's been. It's doing really good at TIFF and other. Yeah, it's got like a 9.5 or something so far. 9.3. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. I think it won really, really somewhere score. like another award. Nice. Something. Okay, awesome. And um, yeah, we're still trying to. Is it, I don't know if it's the real Joe. I don't want to read any spoilers because there's probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just want to go. I just want to like, enjoy it in so the like, movie. I don't sure. know if this is like Joker, like Dark Knight Joker, or if this is like a psychopath. Like, not Joker? Like, he's not actually Joker. He's just a psychopath. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah, we'll see. I think we should watch it. Yeah. Oh, for sure. It would be cool if, like... Remember the little boy whom he made smile? If, like, that little boy became Joker? (laughs) Right? That'd be kind of cool. And then, like, how you were saying, like, uh, Thomas Wayne was the guy in the tuxedo. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, something like, I think Bruce's dad's in there. Yeah, so that'd be cool. I mean, we could technically just check know. the IMDb's to see who the cast is, and yeah, we're like, yeah. is he acting? But we don't want to ruin that. For yeah, yeah, totally, totally. I, but I, I, I feel like the movie to just. I want the to follow the story in the movie. Totally, yeah. yeah. A lot of people were saying that like um, uh, Joaquin Phoenix, he really like committed himself to the role. Yeah, and like you could see it with the body, the body transformation, mm-hmm. and like the way he's acting. It's like it's very like committed. Mm-hmm. I liked it. I thought that was pretty sick. So I'm stoked for that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Until next I think this time. might be if it's if it is Joker, it will be his. Would it be his first or like Joker origin story, right? Yeah, but he'd be so old by the time Bruce Wayne became like Batman. Uh, yeah. Because he's already old in this. He looks like he's like 50 or something. Mm-hmm. Right. So then, like, to yeah, wait yeah, for yeah. Bruce Wayne to turn 30, you're going to be, like, 80 years old, bro? Like, <laughs> come on. Yeah, we'll it, see. Yeah. It would be fascinating to see. Unless it's, like, one of those, like, ancient Batman movies where it's, like, olden time Batmans. I, I think, I think, I mean, I like what, D, if it is Joker, like, I, th- I like what DC's just doing. Like, just stick to, doesn't, like, matter what the timeline. There's no real, like, fitting between other movies. Right. It's just, like, a good story for both Joker. Oh, I, I heard, um, what's his name, dropped out. Um, Robert Pattinson he dropped out of being Batman oh really? yeah I thought it was still being no that's what I thought too and then this person was like oh he dropped out as well I don't know no I read... wants to play that character I'm, I'm not too sure oh. which that. well speaking of which it's interesting to think about like Spider-Man how he'll be in the next Marvel movies or won't be or won't be, yeah. But he said, like, he was going to be it. So, like, maybe... I don't know. I don't take know. on a new name. <laughs> Spidaro. Yeah. Speedro. <laughs> Tony Jr. Yeah, Iron well, Spider. Well, I want to see where yo, that what goes. If, what if they just call him Iron Spider, yo? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you're just like, all right, Sony, you can have the name Spider-Man, but we got Iron Spider. <laughs> it's like, hey... Hey Peter, what happened to your old nickname? No, oh, I'm I No, you have to continue the Spider Man series. Like the way it ended in the last one was too epic. When no, he they, told everyone uh, who he was. Yeah, they will continue the Spider Man, just under Sony only. But it's like you need those actors from Marvel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They, Iron they, Spider, yeah, bro. I think... Iron Spider. Could you imagine if we see Iron Spider? <laughs> like a totally different name for Spider Man. Right, right. That would be such like a like a like take mm. that. It's like a checkmate at that point. You're like, okay, you can keep Spider Man. Right. Disney owns Marvel, right? Yeah. So but they just don't own the Marvel they don't own Spider Man the comic or the show? The movie. No, Spider Man in general. Really, eh? So even if Marvel puts out a Spider-Man comic, the money Marvel was... puts out a Spider-Man comic? No, they have the rights for that. Like, so okay, totally. So it's movie. It's, under it's like it's more like movie, TV, and all that kind okay, of cool, rights cool. is under Sony. So probably. could you imagine the biggest power play that you could see is that Marvel's like okay, and then in the comics they start writing Iron Spider, <laughs> like they're like okay, 
Peter is going to be the new Tony, Iron Spider, and then you program in most people's minds that actually read comics that Iron Spider is the next one, right. and they just change the movie title to Iron Spider instead of Spider Man. Mm-hmm. That way, like Sony does get the Spider Man name mm-hmm. and they keep the franchise, but they don't get the whole, you know, mm-hmm. story behind it. But I mean, right. would that count towards like Aunt May? Peter Parker, like the actual names. Do you think they have the whole rights to like the actual names of Spider Man, or just Spider Man the name itself? Because uh, then they could just go like totally left field and be like, "Hey, I changed my name because everyone's looking for Peter Parker, so now my new name is like Johnny Smith." It's like you know what I mean, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see where this thing goes. Because legally, all they're entitled to is the names. Uh, the characters but then you just like you it's just like bat, it's like Marvel vs DC right like they have similar characters sup, similar superpowers yeah. but you have different names yeah. different origins mm-hmm. I don't know we'll see how this is gonna work out yeah but that's a whole different thing that's... yeah true and I'm excited for the Uncharted movie I think they just lost a direct director. No, really? Yeah, it's a. Th- <laughs> so Tom Holland's not going to be Nathan Drake? No, no, I didn't say actor, I said director. No, I, yeah. So that means like they're the still waiting or... to. No, no, oh. there's still. Nothing's been done yet. Okay. They're just. It's just being even more delayed now. Do you remember The Crow? Yeah. Uh, so Jason Momo was supposed to play The Crow, but then that movie fell apart because they didn't want to do a disservice to like Brandon Lee okay Bruce Lee's son who played the first crow oh was it yeah yeah I didn't know that and that's how he died actually in that movie oh yeah so like in that movie there was supposed to be a a blank or something Mm -hmm. but there was like a allegedly is a bullet or maybe the blank still shot out I don't really know but like the gun like actually shot him and he Mm -hmm. died oh yeah crazy okay yeah, but yeah, movie business crazy. It's interesting that they pump these out every year, right? You never really think about the the economy of business, uh, the economy of movies. Mm-hmm. You know, but like the movie industry is like shelling out lots of money. It's but a multi million dollar a movie in general. Yeah, but Disney is the one that's making all the money. No, no, totally, totally. But I'm think, I'm talking about like commerce, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, think about like the commerce associated with making movies and like. Mm-hmm. So many jobs are built, and, like, we do this every year. We're such, like, an entertainment economy, you yeah. know? Fashion, like, movies. Mm-hmm. They're, like, what's driving business. Yeah. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. it's all about indulging our senses and entertaining ourselves. Yeah. True. Anyways, until next time. Um... Yeah, I guess normal, normal Socratic Gamers podcast next week. No movie. But yeah, stay tuned. Check this movie out. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I think it's good to finish it all. So. Yeah. Until next time. Cool. Take it easy. Bye.